All right, guys, it's March 11, 2023 at 7.50 a.m. Crazy, right? I'm, I'm doing a podcast this early right now. I mean, I'll tell you the backstory on that. Um, Basically, I thought I had work at 6 o'clock. I woke up, logged into the computer because I'm, I'm remote. Um, And then I realized I don't have work today. Wow. <laughs> so, woke up at 5.50 Got to my computer, logged in, uh, got clocked in, tried to clock in at six, and then realized I didn't have it. So I was like, you know what? I was thinking going through TikTok when I shouldn't be going through TikTok because that thing was just making me procrastinate on shit. I was like, you know what? Let me do something productive. Let me make some content. Let me make a podcast right now, like a little, little short, little, little thing that I want to talk about. I have a, a message that I really want to bring out to y'all, and actually more of a topic, more of a topic to talk about, which actually. Shout out to Happy Dead, which we do. We're, we're actually going to discuss a little bit about the company and whatnot. Happy Dad making a dad happy. You feel me? Um, but yeah, so uh, I do want to also mention I have really bad allergies. If you live in Arizona, you probably already know how this works. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, if you don't have allergies out here, God bless you. Because <laughs> I have horrible allergies, and so do my kids. My girl doesn't really have allergies; she kind of does, but I have them so bad. So, like, you might hear me like congested up, might hear me like sniff and whatever, cough. <coughs> it's right there, like, like this phlegm all blocking up and stored into here. So, you might hear a little bit of that, and I apologize, but please bear with me. Um, but. Speaking of the happy dad and why I want, what I am really meant by how we're talk, discussing a little bit about their business is really not even about their business. It's really about the Full Send podcast, which if you don't know, the Nelk Boys, Full Send, um, they have a podcast and they also have a drink seltzer called Happy Dad, which I don't drink seltzers. This one, I will. This like, so, I mean, I'm not even sponsoring them. They're not, they don't, or they don't even sponsor me. So just know that I'm doing this at the kind of my, kindness of my heart and I actually truly do love the taste of these and you know um yeah it's 7 a.m and i'm drinking a little bit of alcohol but it is what it is right but um which you probably won't (laughs) see me sip on this really um but speaking of them they had a um they had an episode with tucker carlson i'm gonna butcher that name because i'm horrible at pronunciation so uh if you have some uh something to say just do it in the comments like i'm cool out here make fun of me good <laughs> go ahead <laughs> it is what it is but uh you know i want to i want to dive a little bit about that podcast and what happened and some topics i only got to watch 47 minutes of it um i'm actually still watching it i have my tv right here um so i didn't get to fully uh hear it all out but in the same sense, I, I, I got a little bit of topics that I got out of it that I really wanted to discuss. And since I have free time, I'm like, you know what? Let me talk about it real quick. Um, yeah, so Tucker was talking about, and th- this is one of the topics. Uh, Tucker was talking about uh, Canada. <laughs> that's how he pronounces it. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. But Canada, he was talking about Canada and uh, how that society has totally turned over as men. Like, men has totally they butchered themselves as being a male figure they they really um their their society is more of a i don't want freedom i want to be told what to do i want to buy tons of amazon stuff and this wish we could just roll over and die <laughs> like that's what he his basis is off of that and a little message that he really said was honestly i think it's a failure of will they've just given up the will to live in quotations, like, ooh, I guess I should commit suicide now because health care costs are too high. And then he goes on and says, no, no, no. The will to live, which is to be blunt, intimately connected with the sex drive. The will to create and reproduce to continue the species. So <clears throat> he's basically just saying, like, their will to live is not a real not a will like they just want to buy tons of amazon stuff like i was mentioning and just commit suicide like as in like i don't want to live here no more like i don't want um the real purpose in life and i do agree with them in a sense um i think america is going that through that same path but i think the the reason to live is first for jesus 
and then you'll understand if you if you live for Jesus, you'll understand the ways of life. The second one would be to reproduce. I do agree with that. I do agree that that is a reason to live as a human species is to reproduce, and even in species in general, because you want to keep the human race uh, or any type of species alive <clears throat> as much as you can, as far as we can go. But that's more of the science thing. I, I really think that you live for Jesus, and then everything unfolds and you continue that path if you just live for jesus the second one would be reproducing the third one would be um to not sin even though we all do and then it just goes down to that beautiful path if you just keep on going but it's just basic down to like if you just want to keep a clear-cut answer just live for jesus and all that will unfold for you so um but yeah so uh he was he was discussing a little bit about that and how their their freedom is not there but like I said, I don't think America's no really no different. Like we live out here without purpose a lot of times now. We're just watching our phone, going through our phone, scrolling. Like I seen a homeless person just scrolling their phone and not even really even ask for food. Like <coughs> that's not to diss on the homeless or anything. It's just like this whole as a society in the Western Hemisphere is ridiculous, man. We have no values. We have nothing. Um but in the same sense, uh, I do want to try to get off topic here. Like, we have no freedoms either. Like, when I figured out that the elections got rigged with when it came to the U.S. election, when it came to Arizona's election, which we don't talk about anymore, and Katie Hobbs is very quiet right now, and this is not to diss nobody, but it's just like, I can see the movements of which and where it, everyone is going when I see it. You know what I mean? Like, God's blessed me to be able to read different things. And just to see the fact that this these elections were rigged and we're just letting it happen it shows that we allow stuff and we allow to have no freedom to even who we elect we're no different than china we're no different than russia we're no different than um the soviet union we're no different and this is a soft take don't take this too personally we're no different than the nazis when it comes to election elections and actually we are no different from the nazis a lot of ways because and and I don't take this personal. Like I said, it, it's we we're not different because even in after the Nazis, we took in some of the Nazis to run our government in the United States to run a lot of a lot of our, um, to run help run America. Uh, I think it's Operation Paperclip. I don't have my camera guy on me, by the way. Uh, this is literally I just woke up into this myself, so um, I don't have him to look it up for me right now, but um. If it's something else, let me know in the comment section. But I believe it is Operation Paperclip, where we took in the Nazis, had them run um, some of our, our, our banking system, uh, having having them to run uh, NASA, like like that's a governmental um, uh, that's a governmental entity right there. So the fact that we allowed this and we took in some Nazis, we are no better than them. We took in the bad guys and made them run our world, our whole system. So it makes no sense to, to not state that we aren't similar to the Nazis. And this is not saying, like, what they did. Obviously, they did something horrible, and we don't do that. Which, actually, no, I'm not going to even say that. We did do that to the Japanese, um, in a way, not as, I guess, not as gruesome. But we still did, in a way, to the J Japanese uh, when Pearl Harbor happened. Which, <coughs> see, excuse me, like, <laughs> you guys see me do this. Um, which is horrible within itself as well, but... Um, but besides that, uh, Tucker also goes in and talks about, I, and I guess he's already aired this before he was stating, like he went on air on Fox and talked about it, which I didn't watch Tucker back then. Like I started watching him maybe two years ago or maybe it's two years ago. I don't know. Um, but basically I guess, um, he tried to go to Russia to interview Putin and the NSA blocked that from happening. The U.S. government blocked that from happening. But the NSA caught him through his Signal app, went into his Signal app, broke into his Signal app, and looked through his messages and also looked through his, his own private messages. Which, um, Signal app is kind of like a WhatsApp in a way where they say, the government can't see it, nobody can see it, this is not traceable, like, blah, 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 which NSA has control and hands on everything. So don't believe in that bullshit like it's ridiculous like facebook runs whatsapp so like if y'all if y'all think that 
if y'all think y'all get in the way with some mob shit on WhatsApp, you're not, bro. You're not. Stop doing that dumb shit. Go like stop doing it in general. Follow God, baby. Follow Jesus. But back to my point that he states, um, what does he state? He states he was planning to go on Russia, but the U.S. government stopped it from going, uh, which you already mentioned, Fox. Um, to interview Putin, NSA broke into his signal app. Uh, NSA admits to looking through Tucker's private messages without his permission for good reasoning. And, um, yeah, so, and everyone's in on it. So, like, there's no privacy. Like, there's no privacy. The Republicans, the Democrats, everyone, you know. <coughs> and if you don't know already, I do lean more to the Republican side due to my morals and, and our, our, my views kind of align up the same. Not not exactly. I'm not going to say we align exactly alike, but we do have a, a, a lot of our views are similar to each other. So, um, so that's why I, I really go more towards that way the conservative way due to um like the love of jesus the love of god but as for like the democrats i do have some views that match align with theirs as well it's just i don't like the fact that and, and i'm not i'm neither nor i'm neither or i'm literally just a christian i, I love god I, I live for jesus but the reason why i don't what i don't like about the democrats the most is that when the democrats do something wrong the democrats will make an excuse or a reasoning or a or even agree when they're doing something wrong and be okay with it. As Republicans, they call out their people. Like George Washington, or George Bush, sorry. George Bush, both the Bushes. They called out Trump for some things. Like with the vaccine, how he made the vaccine and then promoted it. Just like how um, different elites were or different, um, or even the left were. You know, like... We called them, they called them out for that. Now we, they called them out for that. Or even with Ron DeSantis, they already are calling him out for the best governor in Florida. They're calling him out as well. So like they take accountability or they, they really try to make them accountable for stuff. As for Democrats, there's no wrongdoing. <laughs> like most of the time I see, obviously I see some Democrats come out there and, and it's, I'm not talking about the party and the people that I'm talking about the party and politicians. I'm not talking about the people that claim as democrats because i feel like a lot of us are lost here you republican democrats independent in general we're all lost in the system like we're not supposed to be found and we're not supposed to learn from this it's really hard that's why they put the all these little um these laws in effect or these policies that we can't read that only a lawyer that goes to college for eight plus years can understand and we're over sitting here like hmm, maybe i should have over that <laughs> like, like that's what they do to us so they make us feel lost and, and not understanding well but <coughs> there we go again but um that's where i like really to leaning towards the conservative side and the republican side because of that and also because a lot of them a lot of them believe in god and they really do believe in jesus and why i really like trump is because he he always points up to to the man above and always gives him the gratitude and the the glory gives him the glory for everything and um you know i feel like that that's where it is right now like the politicians a lot of the politicians the main politicians and the democrat side is more towards leaning to the devil and i believe even republicans are too but um i believe that there's some like as in trump are leaning with jesus and god like he they they lean on him for everything and that's what i really love and that's why i really respect like if you actually do your in-depth research you'll understand what trump has to say and, and like I said, I don't agree with, like, he's a God. Like, I agree with everything he says. I only agree and have faith in Jesus. That's it, period, point blank. I'm not going to have faith into, a, a me, like, a human being. I'm never going to. But the fact that he gives glory to God and he, he actually falls through with different things, that's what makes me want to continue to go and vote for him. But period, without that statement, um, the... I do want to mention that the Republicans and Democrats are all in on NSA. Like, they're okay. Like, we need to know for good reasoning on why we need to look at everyone's messages, which will, which kind of makes no sense. They pick and choose, which is bullshit. Like, they pick and choose. Like, with the Vegas shooting, when he went on top of that, when he went into the hotel on the top floors and started shooting at people on the bottom, right? How come NSA didn't stop that from happening, right? But they will stop Tucker Carlson from doing a fuck, doing an interview with Putin, like, tell me how that makes sense. Like, how can we pick and choose? Like, that's a terrorist act that that man did to those citizens. You know, so that's why I'm like, you know, like, this NSA stuff, you can't prevent, like, 
You gotta say acts like they can prevent everything and they can't. God's the only one that can prevent and make stuff happen. So period point blank, you need we need to get rid of that shit. Like after nine eleven, stuff just went to hell. And that's why I do not that's why like I don't even agree with the bushes or anything. So <clears throat> I'm not understanding why we allow this to happen. Like we allow different things like him like the NSA being able to do that get into our messages get into anything that we have connected to us like we have no privacy and the republican side the democrat side like as in politician wise and the parties over there they all agree that it's necessary and it's not like like tucker carlson said he says he was tucker carlson <laughs> he says we are no 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 he says if you don't have privacy you don't have freedom if you don't have privacy you have no freedom Period point blank. That's facts. Like that, that is that is true. Because a lot of freedom comes with privacy. Like I should be able to do something that I want to do without them knowing. Period point blank. If I don't want my wife knowing, it's not good. If I don't want my wife knowing that I'm gonna go and hang out with the boys and play some golf, that is my right and freedom to be able to not let her know that, which I would not do that. <laughs> I think we I believe that we are one. That's not supposed to happen. But if anything, she should be the only one that knows. And homeboy on my phone that's looking, charting through me, NSA, shouldn't be able to know. But you know what? We think it's necessary. I think the only one that should be watching is the Lord. That's the only one that should know everything and anything about us. But the problem is, is that these people want to be acting like God. They want to be like God. Like, they, they you know, they want to be God, not like God. They want to be like God. They don't want to be like Jesus. They want to be God. They want to be God. Sorry, they want to be God. They don't want to be like Jesus. You know, we need to act. We need to be like Jesus, not try to be Jesus or be God. You know. <coughs> but we don't. We constantly don't care. Like we constantly don't care. We let them do what they want. Like we just let them run all over us, and our freedom is totally butchered. Like we're slaves to this stuff. They let they get to see everything we do. They get to see what our children do. They get to see what our grandparents do. They get to see where we're texting, where we're walking, where we're going, where we're talking about, like what our minds are. And eventually, it's going to turn into a spiral where, which is bases off the devil. He tells us where to go, what to do, and what can we say? Because if not, you're just going to get struck down. <sighs> that's what it looks like it's leaning towards. But that that's ridiculous on that. And and. Um, Tucker Carlson, like, I guess he's already talked to, talk, Tucker Carlson, damn, I guess he's already talked about this before on air, and like I said, I, I didn't watch him back then, and, and now I know about this, I'm like, dang, like, that's horrible, like, I already knew, like, everyone already knows that they look through our stuff, and we're okay with it, which I'm not okay with it, but, may it so be, but, like, the fact to stop an interview from happening, it's kind of like, wow, like, wow. You stop something from happening instead of just watching. You, like, took initiative action to stop something from going and happening instead of just watching from from afar, which is crazy to me. But uh, he also mentions that we are no longer the strongest country in the world, which is true. Like, with uh, Russia and China, right now they're teaming up against the United States. It's ridiculous right now. Like, if you have the two super, like... I was stating, China has the best, the number one economy and the number one population in their in their country. Russia has the most land and the most nuclear um, weaponry. Those two combined will destroy America. It this is literally happening right now, and we're just letting it happen. We are not. Yeah, we're in a sense afraid, kind of, but we're not doing action. We don't need to be led by fear. We need to be led by Jesus, and that means only fear him and not anything else. We need to fight for him. We need to fight the war. I mean, actually, the war has already won. We just have to fight this battle, right? And that's the problem that we're having here. If we would just live by Jesus, there would be no problem here. We wouldn't have to worry about any other thing. <coughs> but everyone wants to blame the elites, the companies, the communism par parties, the um, the different, like I said, the governments, the different governments. But in reality, all it is is the devil doing his work. Go back to Mark when Jesus came about, not bef not BC, right when Jesus was here, right when Christ was here. The devil was already 
telling Jesus, like, hey, you can have all of this. All you have to do is worship me. Same shit's happening right now. Right now. We're just ignoring it. We're acting like, oh, it's this guy. It's this guy. It's this guy. No, it's one fucking entity, and that is the devil. And part of my language, I'm going to cuss. That's who I am. The devil. The devil, the devil, the devil. And we're all confused, and we're blaming women and men. Men need to... I'm not going to blame women. Women are no... You don't need to... We don't need to blame women. We don't need to go against each other. Here's the fact. Men are supposed to lead, period, point blank. Without a man leading, no group, no society, no party, no movement will happen. Because you need to fight for the right to have that on... The, the right to have it become something. And that's with everything. You have to fight. So, without a man... It cannot happen, period, point blank. So a man needs a lead. And the women are being misled by the men. And it's the men's fault. It's definitely not the women's fault. I heard this one thing. It says, if your household's not ran by you as a man, then it's being ran by the devil, period, point blank. No no in between. And that's what's happening right now. The men are not leading like they're supposed to. And I'm not saying go be a dick to your wife. I'm not saying go be dick to women. Go shame them and pawn them and whatever. No, live by Jesus. Go <laughs> dip into your Bible. Pray to Jesus. Ask for forgiveness. Become the man you're supposed to be by being led by Jesus so then you can lead your family. You can lead the whole nations. That's what's supposed to happen. People are supposed to be in authority for a reason, and that's what happens. Jesus puts authority. But, you know, some people become authority through the, through the devil, and that's what's happening right now, and we need to fight them. So, as America, as being under god which we're supposed to be make under make america under god again that's what i really want to push not make america better great again make america under god again i will probably wear that hat <laughs> mega but the real statement is make america under god again and um yeah man i guess that's really all i have to say um i will be di diving more into the full send podcast because they have some great valuable information on here so it's like you know I, I i agree with a lot of things that they say or not a lot of things that they say i i, I like a lot of the things that they say and they, the people they bring on here that's more knowledgeable and uh, we get to learn from that so it's like kind of another joe rogan but joe rogan obviously is the king of podcasts but check them out full send podcast get their seltzer this is their seltzer happy dad hey if you guys want to sponsor me let me know i mean i know i'm barely coming up which actually mentioning that 75 i think it's 77 i don't know i haven't checked the numbers just yet but over 70 views and that's amazing to me like i didn't even think i was gonna get that much like i mean maybe it's very low to what you guys think it is but i think that's amazing and i appreciate every one of y'all for actually tuning in like that that really helps me a lot keep on striving for greatness and thank you to god and jesus for letting me be able to do this so um uh i guess that's it yeah guys have a great day and, you know, um, stay tuned for this episode and the Makai Jackson interview that we're going to have today. March 11, 2023, baby. Let's go. DJ Melly Man.